Hey guys, this is Snake Shadow Collectibles and today I'm gonna make my top 10 action figure list from 2022. Please keep in mind that this is just my opinion and that I didn't get every release from this year. Also, I'll be explaining my reasoning behind each choice. Anyway, let's start with the list. On my number 10 spot, I have Vegito Blue from the Dragon Ball Evolved series. The figure looks great, it has good articulation and it has a low price point. While I prefer Gojira as a character, I can't deny how good this figure is. Just keep in mind that it's a smaller scale than Figuarts and Dragon Stars figures. Also, the lack of an energy sword was a little disappointing. On the number 9 spot, I have Wolverine from the Bone Breaker Wave. While this is a repaint of a previous release, I didn't have a classic Wolverine on my collection, so this is a welcome addition. Also, it does have new heads and a beautiful gradient effect in the claws. My only gripe is that I would have preferred an angry expression in the mask head. On number 8, it's Retro Symbiote Spider-Man from Marvel Legends. This is another repaint and a simple one at that, but I can't help but love the figure because I really like the symbiote suit. Since I wasn't able to get the Retro Spidey, this is the first time that I have a figure with this mold. However, as much as I like this figure, it should have included some web effects, especially for the price point. On the 7th spot, I have the Cobra Officer from the G.I. Joe Classified series. While this figure is also a repaint for the most part, it has a lot of accessories and it looks better than the previous releases. He's also my favorite henchman to pose with other figures as he goes well with almost anyone. I like him so much that I even got two of them which is something I never do. However, as he's just a generic enemy, I prefer other figures over him. And that's why Stone Shadow is on place number 6. He has a unique scope, he looks fantastic and he has tons of accessories. As you can see, he also has a fantastic balance and he has a lot of accessories. However, there's a ninja that I prefer even more. That's why we have Snake Eyes and Timber on place number 5. I'm aware that these are also repaints, but just as with the other figures, I didn't get the previous releases. For people that still don't have a Snake Eyes with his most iconic appearance and a Timber, this is a fantastic release. It also includes a lot of accessories which makes this 2-pack a lot of fun to pose. However, I'm aware that Storm Shadow was a better release for most G.I. Joe fans as they already have this Snake Eyes figure. On the number 4 spot we have Super Saiyan Goku from Dragon Ball Evolve. The reason why I like this figure so much is because the Dragon Ball Evolve figures are a lot of fun and easy to pose. They have a low price and they have really nice presentation. On top of that, I really love Goku's battle damage appearance. This is almost a smaller version of the Super Saiyan Awakening Goku from Figuarts which is a figure that I regret not getting. I really can't recommend this line enough, especially this Goku. Now let's start with the top 3 figures with Captain America on the 3rd spot. This is for me the definitive Captain America figure, and I really doubt that they will surpass it anytime soon. Aside from not being pinless, he's pretty much flawless. On the 2nd place I have Super Saiyan 4 Goku from Figuarts. I love Super Saiyan 4 Goku and he's pretty much everything I wanted on a figure. He has lots of accessories, a great sculpt and good articulation. However, as much as I would have liked to put him on first place, mine has weak articulation on the feet which hinders possibility. From what I've seen, other people also had quality control problems with this figure. Despite of that, he's just fantastic and I can't help but love the figure. And last, but definitely not least, we have Morph Shredder from the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. The reason why he's my first place is because he's almost flawless in every aspect. On top of that, he combines Power Rangers and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, which is something most fans would have never expected and could only dream of. Having Shredder and the Green Ranger in one figure is amazing and I still can't believe it. On top of that, Hasbro did a fantastic job with him and he might be the best figure of the line. And this is why he's my favorite release this year and a figure that I can't recommend enough. Thank you for watching my video, I'd love to read your lists in the comments below. Remember that liking, commenting, subscribing and sharing is always helpful and I'll see you next time.